Hey there guys, this is Joffrey with Goose Lawn Care. Hey, it is January 3rd, 2019. And uh, I don't think I've ever done this before ever in my life. I don't think I've ever taken the mower out and done any work. Now, I don't know if I'll be mowing at all. I mean, obviously I'm not mowing grass, but um, I'm going to do a cleanup of some leaves I've never been there before don't know what it looks like um, someone called me up and uh, I know them pretty well let's just say they said hey this needs to get done um, take care of it for me you know just charge us what you would anybody else so uh, I'm gonna go do it right now and maybe I'll get some footage for you guys but I'm driving a little distance to do this. Um, going to a different town, somewhere I normally don't ever go to. So it, it's different for me. I think I've mentioned in the past, um, you know, about having route density and uh, having a tight route. And part of the reason that works so well for me is to have a tight route is being a teacher when I go to mow after school, I don't have time to be driving, you know. I got to have a yard right here and a yard right there and a yard here and there. And they got to be close together. And that's why uh, here in my town, everything I do is so close and tight. Um, you know, I don't drive very far at all. So for me today, this is going to feel a little bit different to take a, a drive here. You know, it's going to take me a good half hour to get where I'm going. And for me, that is very unusual to drive that far. Um, I know that sounds crazy to a lot of you guys. And comment below. I'd love to know how far a lot of you guys travel for work. But for me, I mean, that's ridiculous. It seems like super far. Usually I drive about three minutes and I'm there. I'd say the farthest, I, farthest out that I ever go is about um, probably 10 minutes. I gotta put this in the mailbox here. And what that is, guys, is that is my uh, tax payment. I make quarterly payments uh, for my taxes. That way I'm not making such a huge lump sum at the end of the year. Uh, I encourage a lot of you to do that if you're not. Um, it just makes it a little bit more convenient. Not convenient necessarily, but uh, it makes it so you're not paying out so much all at once and uh, that's what I was doing right there so putting in my last payment for the year if you pay quarter if you pay quarterly you pay your first one in April which is when you would make your payment you know anyway and then um, the payment to the IRS and then the next one is pretty quick turnaround and it's June 15th it's Dubai and then you pay uh, let's see in September and then the last one is January so they're all due by the 15th of the month and uh, you know it, it's something you got to kind of remember to do but it does uh, does make it easier in the long run so you're not paying out so much at uh, in April and I've had that happen before before I started doing this. And actually, it's still kind of hard to know, you know, from year to year what it's going to be. It's more of an estimate. So actually, last year, I still ended up paying a big chunk in April, more than I'd like. And so this year, my payments are a lot higher than they've been. But uh, the good thing is, you know, um, hopefully I won't be paying near as much in come tax time. And it's hard to believe, uh, start thinking about that already, man alive. It's uh, hard to believe here it is, um, the first of the year. But I guess I got sidetracked there a little bit. Um, I was talking more about just having stuff, routes tight, and, and that's kind of what I'm used to. But like I said, I'm doing this one off a little ways, but only job I got going today, and you know, this time of year is very slow. Um, usually it's cold outside. Last year, at the beginning of January, January 1st, we set a record uh, 
weather for Peoria, Illinois. That's where the officials at it then, uh, for the National Weather Service of Peoria. For our area. But it was uh, two below was the high on January 1st, and then the, the low was 16 below that day. And those were both records for a record high, low temperature, and a record low temperature. So uh, it's kind of crazy that it's a lot different this year. Right now it's 37, now it's supposed to be about 40. And the last few days have been chillier than this, but uh, just real nice weather for this time of year. So I can't complain at all. But uh, anyway, I'm going to sign off for this for now. And hopefully I get some footage here. We will talk to you guys later. All right, here's a before picture. And uh, you can't see it in the picture, but the stuff's really stuck down there. This is after I'd gone over it a couple times. And uh, I still, you'll see here, I end up going over the blower quite a bit. But I guess that's another before picture of it. And uh, so I went over with the blower. And this is uh, after I'd already started. Um, I'd been over it a couple times. You can see how it's real wet on the concrete. That was all piled with leaves. And so I blew that all in already once and mulched it up with the mower. And now I'm going over it again and trying to get this stuff up out of the grass because it's so stuck down it's just so damp and wet and the stuff's been sitting there you know all fall since october november and so it's been snowed on rained on and it's just matted down and also it was really muddy under there i don't know if you can tell from the video or not but uh, we had had this nice weather and the ground had been frozen a little bit plus with these leaves sitting on there it was just real wet underneath there so the top was real Kind of soupy i guess you'd say but then the ground was frozen underneath actually a lot of these leaves would not even come up um you'll see in the final picture it wasn't the cleanest job i've ever done because some were just still stuck down either from being frozen or from just the fact that uh it was so wet and they were almost like glued to the ground but i was not um able to do as great a job as i said and uh it just didn't turn out as good as I hoped, but I didn't want to wait any longer because the ground was just going to get too muddy. But I blew it all out, and then I uh, went over it a bunch of times with the mower, and then bagged it up with the mower. And uh, finished products coming up here in just a second. But anyway, got it done. That was the main thing. But uh, here's the finished product. You can see the grass is really taking a beating from that's what happens when leaves sit on it. Don't get oxygen to it. Here's a view from the other side. You can kind of see it's not perfectly clean. There's still a lot of stuff stuck down. But it is what it is. Okay, I'm down here in the office. And what I got now is I'm going to be showing you the hats off segment. First thing here is hats off to right here. Got this letter in the mail from Acme Mowing and Lawn Care, acmemowing.com, Acme Mowing, I'm not sure I'm saying it all right, but anyway, it says Joffrey, sorry it isn't a hat, we are hoping to have some headgear made up in time for the season, if when we do we'll send you one, we may need a reminder, so if you see us strutting around a new Acme hat, drop us a line and remind us to said, remind us we said we'd send you one. Peace, Ben and JT, Acme Mowing, Acme Mowing and Lawn Care, acmemowing.com. And what they sent me here was a sticker. You guys can see that, hopefully. I zoom in on that. And uh, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with all this stuff yet. So this I could put up on the refrigerator right here, or freezer, I guess it is. Um, but I think I'm just going to put it up here on my bulletin board for right now, kind of alongside few other things that I have some receipts that I need to file away and um, thank you Acme thank you for your support to this channel and good luck this season um, I want to point him out here on the map he commented below in the comments and Acme is located right here in Oklahoma City I think Oklahoma City is right about there where the R is. Actually, it's uh, Tuttle, Oklahoma, I believe what it is. So uh, he's been doing his business for a little over a year, and he's got a good channel going. So check out Ben and his son, JT, Acme Mowing, um, next time you're on YouTube.
which I guess is right now because you're watching me. Now, <clears throat> hope you enjoyed the footage there of a little bit of cleanup. I know I didn't have much of that, but it was great to be outside working in January. It's gotten cold now since actually this weekend they're calling for some snow, maybe uh, 3 to 6 or 2 to 4. I'm not sure what right now, but they're calling for it. But anyway, I'll maybe get some uh, footage of that if we get a little snow event. Now, what I've been up to, you might see here, trying to get organized a little more. So I bought some uh, notebooks and this organizer here. I talked about that a little bit. And um, anyway, hopefully I can uh, get a little bit more organized as far as that goes. But, um, bought that. Also, right here, got me a new phone. Okay, this is called a Kyracera DuraForce Pro 2. Okay, I skipped the Kyracera DuraForce Pro. There was a first version. Totally skipped that. And, uh, I went straight to the 2. Now, it has sapphire glass. I put the screen protector on here. It is, um, got some bubbles in it. I don't really even need it. I'll show you this right now. Um, you can drop it on its face, face down, and it will not break. Right here was my old phone. This was called Kyocera Brigadier, and had it for four years. Okay, it's been dropped numerous times. The reason I like these Kyrocera's with the sapphire glass and they're supposed to be able to be used outside is due to the fact that um, they take a beating. But they're they're not so techy. I mean, if you want the latest features and greatest things, you're not going to get that. But you will get durability. Okay, so right here. Dropped straight down. Okay, still works straight on its face all right brand new all right this one drop straight down okay whip right there they straight on its face still will work okay it's got sapphire glass that's made to be dropped and that's what i like with working outdoors so anybody that's looking into a new phone and looking for something that's going to last working in the lawn care business that's what you want and um, it's a it's a good product I, I sure hope this one lasts as long as the other one did the last one was four years so anyway that's what's going on now like I said I hope to have some more footage soon of something or other but uh, that's all I've been up to for now hey take care you guys